Louisiana Beer Review Special Edition number 21, Miller High Life Revisited. Miller High Life was introduced in 1855 and since 1903 it's been sold under the name Miller High Life. Before that it was just uh, Miller Beer. 4.7% um, alcohol. This beer is sold nationwide of course and all over the world. <clears throat> It's not well liked on the Beer Advocate, Rate Beer, the Beer in Me, these type of websites that review beers, they think it's bad. So beer enthusiasts or beer nerds, beer geeks, they give it a low rating. The world at large gives it a high rating. So <clears throat> let's get going. This is the first beer. I had when I started drinking beer, doing this beer project in February 1996. I never drank beer before that, and then I, I said, well, what's the big deal about beer? And I went to the grocery store, Winn-Dixie grocery store here in town, and looking around, and I saw Miller High Life, six pack of the little seven ounce pony bottles. And I said, well, that's an iconic, famous beer. Let me try that, huh? Went home, drank it out the bottle. I, I liked it. And then I decided, well, let me try and see what I think about every other beer in the world that's produced. <laughs> so I've been working on that project for the last 16 and a half years. So. Okay, Miller High Life, we get a thick white head and a clear straw appearance. Um, You've seen this beer so many times. It looks like any other standard American style lager. It's made with uh, water, barley malt, yellow corn grits, hops, and yeast. Let's give it the smell test. Now Miller has Miller High Life has a distinctive aroma. It's like cooked vegetables. If you took a can of the mixed vegetables and you heated them up, you would get that aroma. And that's probably coming from the corn and the barley mix. The aroma is not real strong. Uh, the first time I did this review, uh, reviewed Miller High Life was in 2010 and I had the clear bottle. So this is the can. Now, I think the Miller High Life draft version is superior to these two and I believe a lot of people must have thought that because in 1995 Miller came out with Miller High Life Genuine Draft which was a cold filtered draft beer sold in cans and bottles. A few, a few years later, about two years later they changed the name just to Miller Genuine Draft but Miller Genuine Draft and Miller High Life on draft are the same exact beer. But this is a pasteurized beer, and the genuine draft is not. Okay, the taste. More than anything else, it's just going to have a standard, what you would call a beer flavor. But what distinguishes Miller High Life from other beers, American style beers? You have a overriding sweetness, the cooked vegetable flavor, a very minimal hop presence. It's not very bitter at all. There's a tinge of bitterness at the end of the sip to balance it, but just very little. You have a, a light to medium mouthfeel. It's not super watery. It has some body to it. The finish is dry, not super dry, like say Miller Lite would be, but it is pretty dry. It's crisp, clean, refreshing. It's highly drinkable. Um, you get a lot of lacing with this beer. And you get a head that doesn't just fizz away. You'll notice that with Miller on uh, high. Life. So some people don't like that musty cooked vegetable aspect. Other people don't mind it. And look how that head froths up. That is a very frothy head. Very uh, like whipped cream type head. Um my opinion about the cooked vegetable flavor is that it's peculiar, it's odd, but it's unique. 
I don't really mind it. I get Miller High Life um, quite a bit because you can get it usually on sale. It's uh, priced in most places at the below premium level. So it's not at the same level in the pricing category with Budweiser or Coors. The Miller Genuine Draft is priced more along with those. And that's what happened when Miller Genuine Draft came out. This was relegated to the below premium. So it's more of a budget beer, but not a uh, super budget like uh, Milwaukee's Best, which is their, really their value brand. Anyway, I'm going to give this a B. I think it is a good beer. It's not excellent or fantastic, but it is good. It's a solid standby beer. It's good to fill the fridge with. Um, if you've noticed over the last 20 years, that's what their commercials, television commercials focus on, the value brand, the value aspect of it. Not the cheapness, but the value aspect of it. So, laissez les bon temps rouler. This is a good beer. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all, come on down to Southeast Louisiana.